Hi guys, welcome back. I'm doing another like chatty bald talk sort of thing. I don't know, I kind of like that terminology. It's like, um, I feel like it's a Saturday Night Live skit just waiting to happen. Maybe someone should steal that idea from me. You guys should do it, just do it, it's fine. So I kind of wanted to come on here and just talk about my relationship with my body. Just give you a little background on like my experiences and what I've dealt with, um, just you know, my personal life. Um, and things like that. So I'm just gonna dive into it. I'm gonna get another glass, another little sip, another little sip. Basically, uh, and I think I have talked about this a little bit in a couple of my other videos, but I used to be quite overweight. So I was a size, I wanna say that I was a size 24 or 26 when I was at my heaviest, which was um, right out of, um, high school, junior college time. And I um, was really shy, I was very introverted. I had a lot of issues, um, you know, communicating with people. Um, I do have social anxiety, which I don't know if I've mentioned in the past, um, but I do, and it's a problem that I'm, you know, I deal with sometimes, like I get invited to events and stuff and I just get like nervous. I don't mind, I do really well, I feel, one-on-one -on -one with people, but when it comes to being in an atmosphere where I'm surrounded by a lot of people I don't know and I have to come up with something to say, I just get uncomfortable and I've always kind of had that problem. But better as I've gotten older obviously and I mean I feel like I would never sit in front of a camera and do what I'm doing right now um, but yeah so I I dealt a lot with my insecurities when I was younger and I ate and I feel like a lot of people obviously their weight is, the reasons that they are overweight are maybe health reasons maybe that's just the way their body is predisposed to be they hold on to their fat and different areas or they're not as apt to lose weight as some other people. I tend to hold on to fat around my hips and my thighs and my midsection. Um, my arms tend to get a little bit. Um, they definitely were bigger when I was younger for sure and I, my boobs were quite a bit larger as well when I was heavily overweight. Um, I got off topic a little bit but basically I was saying that when I was younger my the reason I gained so much weight is because I was insecure, I was uncomfortable around people, and I felt sort of close off from everyone. Like, I knew friends, family, um, I have said in a previous video I used to get a lot of comments about my weight from my family and it you know I feel they obviously meant well they weren't trying to put any pressure on me perhaps and maybe they were maybe they were just trying to make me you know they they figured that society would view me as more acceptable if I was of a certain size which obviously you should never put pressure on a young child to do so um, because that's where eating disorders come from and I know a lot of people, including myself, I did suffer from an eating disorder. I do recognize that now I used to binge, so I would, um, if I was having a stressed out moment or whatever, um, I would just eat and eat and eat. It make me feel better at the moment, but as soon as I stopped, I immediately felt guilty for what I was doing and all of this. I struggle with my weight all throughout high school. I mean, looking back at it now, I was not big. I thought I was, and so, I remember going to like um, there was like a hospital program to help kids with like weight loss and I went to that and then um, I remember I, I did Jenny Craig I think I did Weight Watchers for a brief moment as well um, and mind you I was like in high school at this point um, maybe junior college I think when I was doing like Jenny Craig and Briefly, I remember um, I started Jenny Craig up again when I was in college in San Francisco and I remember like bringing my sad little like packed lunches and maybe they've gotten better, I don't know. But um, I started to put on weight after high school, very like a ton. Um, I, w I think I went from like a size 10, to, like maybe a size 8, 10, which is, you know, right now I'm like a size 12, 14. Um, and I, so I was small but I thought I was large at the time. And I feel like I didn't get attention from boys. I had a close knit group of friends. And I think I just always assumed that I my body was a problem. And no, I feel like there was so much stress on, on, you know, fitting this sort of stereotype of what was attractive. I remember, um, I think I, I mean, I was curvier back then. I had hips and I had a butt and um, a smaller waist too. And 
Um, I remember just covering my body up. I remember hiding it. I was, you know, uncomfortable with it. I didn't know what was wrong with me because I had a different body type than all my friends. All my friends were, you know, they had big boobs, if anything, but they were skinny. And so here I am with like an actual shape to my body and I thought there was something wrong with me. I think that I could do anything to make myself look better um, and so that I, there was no reason for me to try. So I started gaining weight and then um, I was a very big pothead um, for a couple of years. So I had munchies obviously and then um, I stopped smoking weed, started working out. I mean, I started feeling better about my body, but at the same time, looking back at now and the knowledge that I have with my experiences with trainers and things like that, um, I was doing it incorrectly. I, the biggest thing I've learned, and I am, part of the reason I wanted to come on here and talk about this is because I do wanna start doing a series on this channel with my personal trainer, um, talking about assessing what's best for your body, talking about how to fix alignment issues, and talking about functional fitness um, as opposed to aesthetics because I really feel like people get confused with the idea of working out and they think it's all for weight loss. They think it's all about aesthetics. And really, for me, it's not. Like, I'm heavier now than I was, you know, years ago when I was working out a ton. Um, but I'm happier in my body now because I feel more comfortable in my skin and I don't feel like I'm in pain and all of those. But anyway, getting back to how I worked out, I worked out so much. I would work out like seven days a week, two hours at a time, just like beating out my body. And I hated my body still, um, even though I was losing weight. Um, and then I started going to school and um, I lost even more weight then. I was working out with a trainer and my main concern at that point was weight loss. And so we started lifting weights and I realized how much more I was transforming my body and um, you know how much better I was feeling in terms of like I just felt stronger, I felt like more comfortable in my body um, and things like that. So it was like, really helpful and she actually was the one that got me a job at the JCC in San Francisco and I worked there for three years on and off um, and I worked out with multiple trainers and started sort of started my love affair in fitness but I will say that I continue to do cardio incorrectly I do have large hips and part of the reason <laughs> that I have so many back problems is because of the way I stand and the way I move. I really want to go into this with my trainer. I'm going to dumb it down if I try to talk about it. Um, but I hated my body because I felt like it was always fighting me. And, you know, there's still moments now where I feel that way. But um, I've definitely gotten over the hurdle in terms of actually hating it and feeling like it's trying to sabotage me at every turn. Um, but anyway, so I got into training um, in San Francisco and was working out a ton and started working with a friend of mine um, who recognized that there were some issues with my hips at that point. We didn't really know what it was. We kind of were working through some things. I did, you know, I learned a lot from him. Um, his name was Zach. He was a close friend of mine. And we did a lot of work together and I feel like um, there's things that we did that I'm currently doing with my trainer now. I can't continue to like look back and hate what I've done and the past and stuff like that because really it, it just um, it's negative thought you know what I mean so I moved from San Francisco and I will say that um, I I think I discussed this briefly in my 100 things about me but um, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 21 um, a large part of that reason is because I didn't feel comfortable in my skin I was very I held really negative thoughts about myself I had low self-esteem I think I just was so wrapped up in the idea of what pretty is supposed to be and I think that I mean maybe it's our culture now that's really sort of accepting and um, Accepting and really like empowering women to be okay with their curves, which I think is amazing um, but I think that I, I It took me a long time to get over that. So when I finally did have sex when I was in college me um, Was a big stepping stone in discovering who I am not only sexually and also just like um, recognizing that my body is strong my body has purpose my body is not um, you know, it's not trying to fight me. 
and I think a large part of my you know growing up and living through adolescence and things like that I always felt like I was doing something wrong and um, no matter what I did I was always going to be incorrect it is what it is um, I mean looking back at it now like I said I wish I could just like shake myself I moved out to New York and I started working um, at David Barton um, which is no longer in existence um, and I worked there and I started getting into bodybuilding really heavily um, and I started a different sort of eating disorder um, I definitely think it was a workout disorder so I was working out about seven days a week two hours at a time um, which granted if you have certain goals maybe that's okay for you but I feel like I wasn't doing it for functional I was just doing it for aesthetics I was eating maybe 1200 calories a day maybe 14 um, I was doing like an hour and a half of cardio a day I was lifting every day I was really limiting my life while I was doing it and I looked really thin I did and I mean I don't know maybe I'll insert some photos um, like a before and after sort of situation you can see what I looked like when I was at my thinnest um, I was very very lean and I remember showing my trainer a photo of me um, during my leanest period and I remember he was just like your arms look like pencils like chopsticks like they're so thin I, I feel like I was strong but I was eating so little that I was always tired um, you know and things like that so when I stopped working there um, my schedule sort of became so busy that I wasn't able to work out as much which was a blessing and a curse because I started putting on a little bit of weight and I was still in that mindset of I need to look thin I need to look lean I need to look muscular I was really pushing myself I mean I continued to take supplements I was taking um, a bunch of different pills not like steroids but like taking a lot of like um you know pre-workouts and I was taking like creatine and like all of these like bodybuilding supplements and um, but I was working full time, so it wasn't really. It was really hard for me to keep up um, with that schedule. So I, st the weight started creeping on and on and on and on. I started getting back pain, um, and I mean, I I will admit that I've always had back pain. It's always been an issue. I've always had hip pain. I've had knees, knee problems, especially last in the like last three years, which I feel like you hit the 30 year mark, you start experiencing more pain. I've heard that a million times over and it's totally true guys. As soon as you turn 30, it's all downhill. No, just kidding. But your body starts, you know, things get older and you have to start taking care of yourself. Um, so I started experiencing back pain and started getting really frustrated. Um, I was doing what I could, but I literally got to the point where whenever I worked out the next day, I was so sore I could barely walk, which it's okay to be sore when you're working out, but if you literally physically can't move around and it hurts you to move, then you're doing something wrong. So I kind of stopped working out because I stopped, I started getting afraid. I'd seen a chiropractor that one of my friends had recommended and he told me, which, you know, different strokes for different people. I'm sure it's a good advice for someone. Um, but he told me that I shouldn't be lifting, um, that I should only be doing like the recumbent bike and Pilates. So that's what I did for nine months to a year. And I packed on a lot of weight. Um, and my back wasn't getting better because I wasn't strengthening it. Um, Pilates is good for some people. I do feel like it's a good core strengthener and I feel like in combination with a different with different forms of exercise it can be great like I feel like now I would like to take Pilates because I feel like with everything that I'm doing with my trainer it might be a nice addition um, but I started getting frustrated because I was putting on weight and I was still in pain and it wasn't diminishing so I started working out with my friend um, Jamie who's been on this channel before and um, we worked out together for a while and I was still experiencing some back pain but I was feeling a little better and I was feeling a little stronger and more comfortable um, and then Nick had started at David Barton and she recommended that I try him while he has a physical therapy background. So I started working out with Nick and immediately realized that like he was the person I need to work out with because um, I don't know how long we've been working out together right now. I want to say it's been like a year and I've gone from being in pain every day to the point where my relationship with my body at that point was I just I I was in different 
periods of pain. So some days I was in agony and I couldn't get up. I remember with an um, I woke up one morning and it was so bad it felt like a spasm. Someone was punching me in the back repeatedly and I couldn't get out of bed. Um, and I'm, I'm tall, I'm 5'9", and a lot of my clients are really short, and so whenever I have to bend down and things like that, it was putting a lot of pressure on my joints, and I wasn't moving correctly, and I didn't really recognize it at the time. Um, so when I started working out with Nick, he, the first thing he did was an assessment in terms of the way I was moving and things like that, and I've been working out with him ever since, and you know, I will say, because um, I've had a few comments, I posted a video recently of me um, deadlifting 200 pounds. I only did one rep, just in case you're curious. But someone said, what are your goals? And you know, I, I kind of had to sit down and think about it, but like my goals are to be strong and to be able to move comfortably in my body um, and not to be in pain anymore. And I, I feel like there's so much pressure on women especially to look aesthetically a certain way and you know what if you want to look that way and you want to put the time and effort into it do you but please be conscious of of the way you're doing it and make sure that you're not hurting yourself in the process because I feel like a lot of what we do as women and as men you know um, puts a lot of pressure on our bodies. Um, Soul Cycle, don't even get me fucking started about that shit. Like the fact that they make you do push-ups on the bike is in completely incorrect form and just maddens me. And there's a bunch of other workouts that are very trendy right now and it's just things to think about. I just wanna say that like my goals are no longer about losing weight. I'm currently a size 12, 14. Um, if I can get down to a size 10, 12, great you know that's fine too um i tend to lose weight the quickest off my midsection and my face um so if i lean out a little bit this summer i will be happy with that that's totally fine but at the same time i'm not gonna hate my body we all have moments we all have moments where we're like damn i hate like the little muffin that's sticking out because i wore this top and you know things like that or like these jeans are too tight and i just wash them or whatever you know we all have moments where we or like we're on more period and we start digging at ourselves and we're like oh my god i feel so fat we all bloat all of us bloat we should not kill ourselves for something that is completely natural the thing that's happening right now and i'm sort of like um coming to grips with it a little bit especially because um i am sort of not a part of the plus community and I get that I'm not a part of it um, because I'm an in-between size so I'm like not quite straight not quite plus um, for a little bit um, last summer I was technically a, a straight size and now I'm sort of back into the plus I put on a little weight um, and I vary between literally I my weight fluctuates where I'm between the two of them and the straight size community doesn't really want to accept me and the plus size community doesn't really want to accept me. Um, and the ones that do are the ones that are, you know, size inclusive. Like there's a lot of sites that start at a size eight and then go up, which I think is great because a lot of the straight size companies that I like, I go in and I can't fit anything. I'm, I'm also very broad and because I lift weights, I tend to get muscular in my shoulders and back. Um, and I have thick thighs that are also pretty muscular. Um, and also just because of my body shape, you know? So a lot of the time I feel like it's hard for me to find clothes. And I've had comments before in the past that are like, why do you complain about? You're, you can go in anywhere and find clothes. And I'm like, it's still a struggle for me. Yes, there are choices that perhaps someone that's a size 22 will not have because they're literally not in the store. Um, but it's i mean i don't shop in store like ever i go online i search for my size i'm typically i have to go in for tall as well because i have issues with the sleeves being on too short on me or like jeans being way too short on me i tend to shop a lot on asos because they have the tall section it's just your body like my body does not make me who I am and my hair doesn't make me who I am and the way I dress doesn't make me way who I am like they're just parts of you you know what I mean and I feel like there's such focus on the body especially now is with Instagram and all of that um and I mean I'm you know the first one to say that I I mean I post photos of myself on my Instagram I post photos of me in lingerie on my Instagram um and 
I'm completely okay with that and I'm gonna continue to do it because I feel comfortable in my body. I just wanted to come on here and kind of give my background and kind of speak to you know where I was and where I am now just in case you're curious in terms of like the weight fluctuation I think at my heaviest um, I was probably 270, 280 um, when I was at my thinnest, when I was working out a ton. I think I was at like 165, 170, and I think I'm currently at somewhere around 200 pounds. Um, I'm 5'9", so I'm a size 12, 14. And um, I think I would be happiest probably at like maybe 185, um, but I'm not gonna kill myself to get there anymore. I'm not gonna do it. Um, I eat well for the most part, and um, I work out maybe three to five days a week, depending on my schedule. Um, and I will always, I'll be the first to admit that the first thing I will do if I have time is I'm gonna lift, I'm not gonna do cardio. So, and but in case you have any questions in terms of workouts, um, you know, specifics if you have any questions for me in regarding my history or whatever um, definitely comment below um, and I am going to start featuring Nick on this channel we've been chatting about a series where we're gonna basically um, help you guys assess if you have any issues if you have hip issues if you have back issues um, I'm just really getting into the meat of it um, because this is something I'm very passionate about because I've dealt with this for so long. It was debilitating. Like, I literally couldn't do anything. Um, and if I did, it was very painful. I was popping pills, like, all day long, and that's not healthy. And I was using, like, heating pads and, um, you know, Icy Hot and stuff like that. And it's just like, that's not a life worth living, you know? It's just something to think about. And, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I don't know. I just wanted to come on here um, and sort of just chat. It's kind of nice to just ramble on and on without... I'm gonna probably make this a series, but we'll just maybe do a little bald talk from now on. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.